Top of the morning to y'all. I'm over here in Revelation. And I'm just finishing up that chapter 2 we started in yesterday. I got something here I want you to check this out as we go on to chapter 3. He says right here in um, <sighs> He says right here in chapter 25 But that which you have already hold fast till I come. Talk about our faith. And our works, our ministry, we've got to hold fast to these things. He says, and he that overcometh and keeps my words, works, not words. <laughs> he says, he that overcometh and keep my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he, he who, that person overcomes and keeps the Lord's works till the end. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. And I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. See, he ain't just talking to these churches. He's talking to anybody that's got an ear on their head. Right? These are just letters to the churches for all mankind. See? He said, he that has an ear. That's anybody with an ear on their head. Or that can hear. Chapter 3. And unto the angel of the church of Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I will know thy works. So far, every church that he's talked to, he says he knows their works. So that would mean that anybody that has an ear to hear, he knows our works. We should be repentful. We need to be repenting. That's right. We need to be getting cleaned up, ready for our bridegroom. He says, I know your works. Where's it at? Yep, I know your works. That you have a name that you livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that, ye, that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. I don't think there's anybody but Jesus that walked perfect before the Father. Maybe John the Baptist. Maybe. And there's a few others that say that they walked perfect before God. So that's his wisdom, not mine. <laughs> Remember, therefore, how you have received and heard and hold fast and repent. See, he's talking to someone that's already in this truth. You received and you heard. And what's he going to tell them? And repent. If therefore you shall not watch, I will come on you as a thief. And you shall not know that hour I will come upon you. Or you have a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Praise you, Father God. Please help us to overcome. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white remnant, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. You hear what that says? said? We just said this a couple days ago in our study. If your name can be in the book of life, then your name can be blotted out of the book of life, which means that kills that whole thing once saved, always saved. And you can sit there and play the old word game. Well, no, if that person was really saved, then no, it don't work like that, you know. Yeah, if that person was really saved, then yeah, they would be doing things a little bit different. But then they probably wouldn't be a person. They would be a robot. Because this Bible says that every heart, not some of them, but every heart of man is wicked. Every person that's ever come through the matrix of a woman is wicked, excluding Jesus Christ. So it's every heart of man that is continually wicked. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white remnant, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. You hear that? He says that after every time he speaks to a church, he that has an ear. Well, there's an ear there. And there's an ear there. 
and I'm sure you who are listening have ears too. And if you don't, you can probably hear. So, I mean, he's talking to us. He's talking to us. And unto the angel of the church of Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that is the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, he that shutteth and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For you have a little strength, and has kept my word, and has not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. That's a different study for a different day, but they're all over there right now. It's called the remnant of Edom and the heathen in uh, Amos 9, chapter 9, verse 11. To just kind of give you, you know, what that's about. They say they're Jews and they're not. They're really the, the sons of Esau. They're not the sons of Israel. But they're over playing like they are. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come to worship before the, thy feet and to know that I have loved you because you hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I will come Behold, I come quickly. Behold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Here we go again. He's going to say it again. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem. which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. You hear that? A new name. He that hath an ear. There we go. We got some ears. Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, write, These things saith, a, saith, these things saith that, Later, the scenes write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would do work cold or hot. So he don't want you lukewarm. He either wants you cold or he wants you hot. Right? I know that works, that you neither cold nor hot, I would really cold or hot. So, then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. See, this is a dangerous place to be right here. Because you sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked, and I... I counsel you to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich and white remnant, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. So, so far... In these studies, I'm going to go ahead and finish this chapter 3. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh, we've got to be overcomers now. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that has an ear, he's going to say it again, guys. Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Well, I would say he got a little bit against every one of us. Because he knows our works. He knows the thoughts and he knows the intent of our heart. 
I'd say he knows all the little secret things. I mean, the Bible says this. He knows every little bitty thing about us. It's just like me in this aquarium right here. Check this out. I put this ecosystem together right here, see? And it don't look like much. But there's some real pretty fish in there. And there's some snails. And there's, you know, all kinds of fish in here, see? Well, I know everything there is to know about this tank. Look at old Bill over there, the snail. So see there? I know everything there is to know about that tank. I'm sitting here. I watch it daily in my morning Bible studies. I enjoy these fish. I, uh, I look into this ecosystem. I see all the plants. I see all the snails. I see all the fish. I know when something changes in there the minute that it happens because I can see a difference in that ecosystem. See? Because I'm observing it daily. Now, this ecosystem that we live in, that Jesus made, <laughs> he has posted us an angel. He's probably right here. He's probably right here beside me, right here. Somewhere. I don't know, but I know he's right here. I know he's here. And if the Lord could open up our eyes, we would see a multitude of angels all around this house and all around my family. Because the Bible says that his angels encamp around those that fear him. And we in this house fear God. We definitely fear God. We know that he is an unconsuming fire of righteousness. So just listen to what he said to them churches there in that first part of the book of Revelations from chapter 1 all the way to chapter 3. He said, hey, I know your works. There's a few things y'all got to do. Return to your first love. But the one thing that every one of them churches had in common, every one of them churches had in common, repent. We need to repent. For we are sinners full of sin. Born in this flesh, tempted and drawn away by this flesh. We got to be overcomers the first time around. We're going to fall sometimes, some of us are. But we got to get up and repent. The Bible says if you sin, you have an advocate with the Father. That's Jesus, the righteous. He loves you. He loves me as long as we're seeking Him. As long as we're looking for Him. Please get in your Bible and read today. Get to know Jesus as your personal Lord Savior, King, God, and Husband. He loves you as long as you love Him. And if you love Him, you're going to keep what, Mike? The Sabbath and His Word. His commandments. That's right. His Sabbath and His Word. You're going to keep His commandments if you love Him. That Sabbath is a sign between you and Him that you belong to Him. And those commandments, well, that's His character. Lean not unto your own understanding, but trust the Lord God no matter what. Trust your Father God no matter what. Like I always say, be not conformed to the ways of this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. In the word of God only. Y'all have a good day.